what's happening, babe? Mercury doesn't go into retrograde until December 29th. Hey, welcome back or welcome. I'm Brittany and this is the Brittany channel. It is Vlogmas Day 5. And today we are going to do a little spend the day with me. I'm almost ready. I just have to put on a few accessories and I'm gonna eat. I have some oatmeal in it. And then I'm gonna head out to run a few errands. I'm gonna go to Nordstrom because I want something very specific. So I'm gonna take you guys in the dressing room with me, try on some clothes and I'm probably gonna go to the grocery store and come home. And I am running late because I was supposed to leave out at 12. And because I haven't eaten yet, I'm not gonna leave out until like 12.30. I still need to lay down my little edges. I'm wearing these pants, you can't tell because titties, um, that I just got from Ella Queen. The ones that I featured in my collective haul, I'll link it. I love them so much, but baby, with these nails, it took a smooth two and a half minutes to get both buttons buttoned. The top button is not a problem, but the, the bottom button, close to the zipper, I cannot, I cannot use the bathroom today. I mean, I don't like public bathrooms anyway, but I cannot use the bathroom today. <laughs> We're keeping liquids to a minimum just to avoid anything. And then I was looking for my, so I said I was unsure of how I was gonna style these pants, like what shoes I was gonna style them with. And I'm just gonna wear some loafers that I have. I have a lot of loafers. I think I'm just gonna wear like my trusty, dusty, fully broken in Franco Sardo loafers. They really give me a, a granny vibe and I enjoy them. And I was gonna wear my Gucci socks because you know you may get a peak of sock with these pants and I don't wanna necessarily have like black socks or white socks. So I thought, oh, a wonderful neutral sock would be nice, especially because I'm wearing a brown coat jacket. I can't find them socks. I don't know where they are. They're somewhere here because I don't lose things in that capacity. But the last time I wore them, I know I was in the airport. That's the last time I remember seeing them. But obviously I wore them home because I flew them. But I don't know where they are. So, black socks it is. I don't even think, I don't have any plain white socks that don't have like some type of print or design on it. So you gotta wear the black socks. I'm a little bit irritated. But I'm like waiting for my oatmeal to cool off because I don't like really, really like steaming hot food. I get judged by everyone because I will eat stuff at room temperature. Except for like things like pastas, you know, that's barbaric if you just eat like cold to room temperature pasta, macaroni, stuff like that. But meats and things, for the most part, room temperature is fine for me, baby. I don't want to be before I eat. Like I'm not, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Girl, where are my socks? It's still a little too hot. But I'm so excited because I'm gonna publish my video before I leave. And that is my Black Friday haul. And right now I'm about to watch a Long Fox video and I'm very excited. I really, Drew, I love Drew. The house of is about to happen, and I'm very, very, very excited. So I'm gonna watch this while I eat my oatmeal, and then before I leave out, I'm gonna publish my 
Black Friday haul. Um, it is morning of the reveal, and I am nervous. I'm like, we're in the morning, it's so bright in here. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Not me tearing up. That video was was so nice. They were so happy. The family essentially received a full home makeover. Every room in the house, bathrooms, bedrooms, living, communal areas, everything. Courtesy of YouTube and Wayfair. And it was just really, really nice to watch. They were so happy. And I really like Drew's channel. I, like on YouTube, I watch a lot of like interior DIY type things. If you are into that, like home, 10 out of 10 recommend. His style is not necessarily aligned with mine, but he's just such a pleasant person to watch on YouTube. He just seems so sweet and so pure. And it was a really, really good video. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't put my eyeliner on yet, child, because I would have messed it up sitting here crying. And now I'm putting on my ugly black socks. <sighs> so annoyed. Sucre, Sucre Couture earrings. Child, what a hole at now. Is that the second hole? Okay, let me do this in the mirror. It's one o'clock, I'm finally about to head out. I'm wearing my Geranium by Diptyque fragrance. Where's the top child? And I'm going to mix in a little bit of Wood Sage and Sea Salt by Jo Malone. I put on my Mojave Ghost by Byredo lotion. So it's like a fresh, woodsy, zingy combination that just smells delightful. Ugh. I didn't want to take my hair down. And oh, I want to wear some rings. A little jewelry box. <sighs> no, it's, you want to be worn today, I see. Okay, girl. This little ring I got from the jewelry maker in Columbia. My little AliExpress ring. I think I'm just gonna keep it light today. Cause... And then of course, I'm wearing my new Sherpa jacket. Is it a little too cold for this today? It is 36 degrees right now. <laughs> but guess what? <laughs> the turtleneck should keep me warm enough. So let's go. Oh, let me take my hair down. Do I want to take my hair down? Let me take my hair down. Well, let's go outside, babies. <laughs>
this is a size 1x. A size 2x would be better. If I don't, I like, you know, layering stuff underneath it, but I don't know if I want this spaghetti strap one or if I want the long sleeve. Because look. Look at the material. Mm, this is a cooler brown. This is a warmer brown black steel. Y'all, I'm home and I'm so annoyed. I got mango on my teeth, babe. Like, but the lighting's not good anyway, so you shouldn't be able to see it. A lot happened to me since I left the dressing room at Nordstrom. One, I went into Zara, I got something, and as soon as I left, I kind of realized that I didn't want it. And then I went back, I went to Nordstrom, tried on the scale stuff at Nordstrom, I went downstairs to see what the plus selection was like, and they didn't have anything new that was different from the last time I was there, so, I skedaddled and somewhere within the Nordstrom I guess I lost the receipt for the Zara stuff like babe he put the receipt in the bag and when I went to look in the bag for the receipt she she was not there so that means I can't get my money back I'm hella irritated. Like, what's that about? Then, I broke my nail. Huh? Like, these earrings too heavy. I want them off immediately. What's happening, babe? Mercury doesn't go into retrograde until December 29th. We are more than, we're like three weeks out. What's up? On Tuesday, I'll go to Zara and I'll get that little stinky store credit. I'm so irritated, oh my God. But I did get my skims dress. I ended up going for the long sleeve. I'm very excited to wear it with my brown Sherpa jacket. I also, I, <laughs> Just remember, you can always change your mind because, child, I done went and got some skim shapewear. Now, I got a size 4X, 5X, and these are the sculpting shorts that stop mid-thigh. I don't think this is what I had before from Skims that truly humiliated me, made a fool of me, embarrassed me. I don't think I had those. Um, I don't think I had these, I mean. So we gonna see. But at the end of the day, if they don't work out, they going straight back to Nordstrom because Nordstrom has an amazing return policy and I'm not about to play with Kimberly, but I don't like my shapewear is just not good y'all. I have some shapewear, some biker shorts from Lane Bryant Cacique and they don't hold nothing in. They just essentially stop me from getting chub rub, which is phenomenal because that be kind of the main reason I wear shapewear but then I also like to look a little bit more snatched. Then I have the Lizzo Yitty Shapewear Shorts, and I hate those. Actually, whenever I wear those, I told you they were raggedy. I told you within two times of wearing them, the rubberized part around the waistband had wore down. I showed y'all pictures. I also told you they had a big hole, like I poked a hole into them. 
But not only that, because I can get over the whole because I'm the one who decided she wanted to be at with scissor hands. However, I'm the 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 rubber, the elasticated part kind of disintegrating. I'm not letting that one go easy. I'm not letting that one go easy. Because like I said, I didn't like Yiddy because I ordered two things. The shapewear, which was they, sh they they're nice they feel very comfortable it feels almost like you don't have anything on the body looks great in them but there are three issues they're clearly cheaply made if you can just poke a little hole in them they and I, my nails were not sharp i didn't even i had like a coffin i didn't even have like anything pointy or almond -y. <sighs> the elastic rubbing out not good quality but also, more importantly, the part that really grinds my gears is the fact that they roll up when you walk, baby. They roll up when you walk. And that pisses me off. Like I tried to wear those outside the other, not the other day, maybe a couple weeks ago. And babe, I was cursing Lizzo. By the time I had walked for like five minutes, I swear it. So, between the Lambray and the Yiddy, I don't have anything. So I decided to try these. These um, are similar to the Yiddy with the elastication on, uh -uh, with the elastication on the waistband. Not the elastication, but you know, the little silicone stuff that's supposed to stop stuff from rolling down or whatever. And then the bottom part looks not to have that fabrication and it, I don't know. We'll see. I'm actually going to try these on because I don't have much else going on for me today that would entertain y'all for like the rest of the vlog. I'm just irritated, bro. I'm so mad about my nail. And then the way it broke, it's so short that I don't even want to cut these and like file them into like an almond shape because I don't wear my nails this short. Like, what is this? This look. And where is that? That Zabra receipt? Like, baby. So in the part of the vlog where I tried on that little floral wrap thingy, that was a size large, by the way. And once again, I challenge brands to explain to me how they can technically make stuff in my size, but not offer it to me via the, the label sizing and also the marketing. I don't, I'm not familiar with that brand. I did take a picture of it. So I am going to look into it because now I'm curious. I want to know who's behind this. That big ass dress, wrap, cover up thingy. It could fit me and it still fit me loose. And that was a size large. What's that about? And I'm not even like, I feel like a lot of times, I don't know, do I have, do I have the language for this right now? I'll try my best. I feel like, I don't, I don't want to say bullying because that feels unfair. But I feel like people with bigger bodies often try to strong arm brands into making plus size clothing. And I'm looking for an analogy because of course, that's not the same thing as asking Yo Play, who specializes in yogurt to suddenly make pizza. It's not the same thing because clothes are clothes and extending the sizing is just widening the range whereas a yogurt company making pizza is a completely different genre however I just think that when it comes to clothing it sucks not to have full access to like the things that I enjoy in Zara. Like I don't shop much there this time of year because I cannot fit their woven pieces. It sucks not to have access to Versace. It sucks that Versace will make a plus size men's top, but when it comes to women, 
they're stopping at like a size 10. That sucks. It does. However, I feel about clothing like I do about people. You have to show me that you want me. And if you don't show me that, then I'm not going to bully you or, or try to convince you that I'm worthy of said attention. I'm not going to keep begging you. Like a brand that comes to mind is Hanifa. I don't own anything from Hanifa. I have a few things on my list that I know I can fit based on the material makeup, the construction, and other bigger bodies that I've seen in the pieces just via visual guesstimation. I know I can fit it. But every time she releases something, people are like, uh, oh, where are the plus size? When are you going up to plus size? Blah, 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 blah. Like essentially bullying slash begging her. And I get it because they make beautiful garments. They make beautiful garments. But at the same time, if, if, if she's not accommodating you, cause she'll respond and she'll say, oh, well, for like some of, I have some plus size customers and they can fit these garments. It's very a selective amount. Like I could never do a Hanifa coat, but I can do a Hanifa stretchy two piece set, you know? It goes up to a size 2X, but you know how 2Xs can be, you know? She'll say, oh, well, you know, some of the, the garments work just fine for plus size people. And by plus size people, she means maybe people who are shaped like me with like a pear shape or an hourglass shape. She means maybe people who are under a size 20, you know, not if, you know, not every plus size body, but a few of y'all, a few of y'all can squeeze into this shit is the idea. However, we got to stop begging because if she wanted us, she would accommodate us. And it's really that simple. And we can take our dollars elsewhere. Are there many plus size brands creating on the same scale and quality and design aesthetic as Hanifa? or Christopher John Rogers, or I'm trying to think of another amazing black designer whose aesthetic I really enjoy, or Fee Noel. No, it's not. There, There is no plus size Fee Noel. I've seen some smaller plus size girls, what they call themselves mid-size girls in Fee Noel, but there is no one creating on that level. It's just not, it's just not. And unfortunately, with having a bigger body, we're going to be accommodated last. I'm happy we're in a place now where Hanifa, what's her, what's her name? I feel like her name is similar to Hanifa. Hanifa, something like that. I'm glad to see her in photographs with Anna Wintour. I'm glad to see Fee Noel being sold at like net a or I don't know if it's on a net a -Porte, but I'm glad to see Christopher John Rogers being sold at net a or Farfetched. I'm glad that these black designers, Laquan Smith, are, you know, they're getting a bigger platform and they are preparing to take their seat at the table if they're not already seated and on their second course. I love that. Because before anything, I'm black. My weight could be changed, you know? My blackness and the pride that comes with that, it can't be changed. And am I okay with coming in last or being accommodated last? No, not particularly. But I feel like it's bigger things to complain about. I'm just not here for the begging game. If Laquan Smith cannot accommodate me. It's fine. I still admire his work. If Christopher John Rogers cannot accommodate me, it's fine. I still love his work and I will just find something else until either A, I'm small enough to then fit in his clothes, which I really don't want to be, or B, I 
find something comparable or fucking see. I create something myself, you know? I went to school for fashion. I went to art school. I've been playing with the idea of getting a sewing machine. I hated sewing. I switched my major because I hated sewing, baby. I was not equipped for that. But I also started taking my construction or sewing classes before I learned how to drive. So I didn't have any hand foot coordination. Now I'm an excellent driver. So maybe sewing will be a different story for me. Anyway, I'm, I'm getting off of the subject. I don't even know what the subject was. All I know is I was showing y'all my skims and now I'm talking about inclusivity. <laughs> Um, y'all if I got something in my teeth please don't anyway I, I like I said I completely get the unfairness that comes from being excluded just because you have a bigger body or you look differently let's just say that but I ain't begging nobody for shit I ain't begging nobody for shit I'm not about to write a dissertation about how Zara is fat phobic anti-fat or whatever i'm a squeezing what i can squeeze in if i can't then whoop the fucking do like i'll be okay it sucks but i will be okay y'all let me know what your thoughts is because i don't think that i am utilizing the correct language right now i hope i'm you know speaking in a way that is not offensive or that is easily understandable to y'all like I hope it translate how I mean it <sighs> let me know if it doesn't I mean I'm not going to apologize and let me know what your thoughts are on the the matter of almost like is it to say that what's the word child I need to eat because I can't even think of English words the expectation to be accommodated by something that is not a, a human right. Like we don't we don't need clothes, especially we don't we don't need to be stylish. It's it's a desire. And why should my desires not be met because I'm a size 26 when the size six girls' desires are easily met? But is that entitlement? Do we feel entitled to these brands? Should they be forced to accommodate us? Is it fair for them to take the Karl Lagerfeld route and say basically bigger bodies is just not my aesthetic when I design beautiful clothing? I don't see them on these bodies. I mean, it's private brands. I guess that's fair. It's fucked up. Yeah, but I guess it's fair. But what do we call the expectation to be accommodated like our smaller bodied sisters? What, is, what should we call that? Is it entitlement? Is requesting aggressively bullying? Is calling it out bullying? Like what is it exactly? You know, I'm curious to know your thoughts on it. Nothing is going to stop me from squeezing in things. Like I said, in regards to that brand, Oh, that's how I got on this because I was talking about the oversized thing that I put on. In regards to that, ultimately sizing does not matter. I have pieces from Zara that are a size small. So I know garment construction a bit and I know a lot about textile. So I know when I can push it and I know when I can't. So a size is not going to stop me I'm just a little bit curious as to why brands don't want to do the work. And if they they say, oh, it's hard, of course it's hard. A lot of things are hard. But I just wish brands would be more forthcoming, like Karl Lagerfeld, rest in peace to him, and say, I don't want your fat ass in my clothes. Just say that and say it with your chest, baby, because I don't like you either way. I, I don't like you because you're not accommodating me. So you might as well be honest about the reasons in which you're not accommodating me. You know, I don't know, child. I need to eat. But let me try on these little biker shorts and see what they're giving. I'm going to show y'all how I'm looking without any shapewear. Then I'm going to put them on and see if they're as traumatic for me 
as to the last pair were. Because those la that last pair, they were so bad, I couldn't even show y'all a picture. Because they, I swear, I swear, they made my ass look like a triangle. Like it was really like this. What, what, what angle is that? It was giving 90 degrees. 90 degree ass. I look like flats from Spongebob. So let's try them on. Okay, this is me with no shapewear on. We see the fupa, we see the hips. <laughs> Child, my stomach went down from yesterday when I was looking like a manatee, but we still got some more work to do before I could put that um, Zelly for she dress back on. I'm confident. <laughs> I don't know y'all. The other ones felt kind of like this too. Like, Kim, baby, we just want to look smooth. We don't, ugh, we're not trying to. <sighs> These little booty spaces are really <laughs> folding me over. Okay, let's let's put them on. Yeah, they're not coming off. And I'm not about to break my nail. I'm not about to break my nail. I don't know what's wrong with Kim. Whew, now I'm out of breath. <sighs> These are a size 4X, 5X. With Spanx, I wear, I can wear for their biker shorts a size 2X or 3X. And I prefer the 2X because it really, the issue with those, they tear. Every, one, every pair that I get of those, they tear right here in the crotch. The, after a couple wears, they tear. So that's why I left those alone and I started using the Lane Bryant ones to do nothing for me, to hold me in. So I'm taking these back, baby, because I'm not playing with Kimberly. What's her middle name? I don't even care. I'm not playing with Kimberly Kardashian. I'ma stick to her panties. I'ma stick to her dresses. I also saw the disco pant in store today they only had a size 3x they didn't have a size 4x but i was looking at that 3x and i knew in my heart of hearts that i could not fit even that 4x so i'm gonna mind my fat ass business and i can't believe this that's so upsetting i'm so upset i'm very upset i'm taking these back give me my money back kimberly I don't know leave your um your shapewear recommendations down in the comments because clearly kim is calling me a fat ass kelly price like the waist for the 4x slash 5x and i swear i hate slash sizes you're either a 4x or you're a 5x you're either a small or you're an extra small it's not the same and if it was the same, then it wouldn't be two different things. So don't give me no slash. So for the waist, for the 4X slash 5X, it's 45 and a half inches to 50 inches. For the hips, nah, maybe this is where I fucked up. For the hips, it's 54 inches to 58 inches. My hips are 57 inches. At the like fattest part of my ass. Why is today just getting worser and worser? Of course, this is just my nail and losing that receipt, like two tears in a bucket, fuck it. But it is a little irritating. Like, you know those days where more than one irritating thing happens to you and it's just like, what is wrong with today? What's going on with today? Yeah, that's how I feel. So with that, I'm gonna wrap it up because we're positive girlitas. We're not here to complain or listen to me complain. That's not what I want to give to y'all. That's not quality content, it's not. Yeah, give me my 39.69 back expeditiously. And with that, y'all, I am going to end this little vlogalina here so that I can upload it and have it ready for y'all tomorrow. There wasn't much to happen today. But with Vlogmas, isn't it like, you know, there is some actual content within, but it's just like vlogging your day. And this was my day. I'm going to spend the rest of my evening 
whining about how I couldn't find a document on my phone and I'm going to edit this video and upload it and prepare it for uh publishing tomorrow y'all let me know what y'all want to see for vlogmas and be specific please <laughs> um oh i forgot i still got stuff in my teeth oh my god i have some notes of some things that i am planning but honestly it ain't it ain't 24 videos worth of notes. I, I i i need some ideas here anywho like this video if you like this video comment down below let me know about your thoughts on the entitlement that's the word i'm going to use for now because i don't have another word or the expectation for straight size brands to accommodate our bodies let me know your thoughts on that subscribe if you're not subscribed already follow me on instagram at born in sequins and tiktok at britney inc and i will see you guys in the next video I don't even want to put my hand up because why is my nail broke? Bye. Oh, my teeth. Bye. I can't show my teeth.